Alrighty boys, so back with another game game. We're gonna be doing hubris this game. We're running relentless hunter market. Because we are not gonna need cosmic nor treasure hunter because we're not gonna set that up. But hubris. The reason why we're going to hubris is because honestly I find hubris to be very snowbally and it works very, very well for players that are kind of looking for a little bit more of a a little bit more of an extra strong early game and a little bit extra speed a little bit extra um first i think it's one of those itemizations that you really need to get comfortable with but when you do it'll be way better than you moves i don't really miss out on the lack of movement speed because we're on the center i haven't really done this build too much because of the, um after the uh, q buff changes but after trying it out with the q buff changes which is based off your bonus ad so the more ID you have the faster not only are you clearing because you know the bonus ad for for all your abilities, but just for your Q in general, is getting way more out of it. So. By the way, if this Let's was Curse Mai, it would oh, ironically nice win this game. Back at it with another month, Wu. Back at it again with another month. Thank you. Thank you for the reset. We'll be having a fantastic day. Alright, let's get to it. Oh, we're going to be doing a full clear down. We got some Rek'Sai. So if you guys haven't seen, I did make a pathing guide. If any of you are interested in learning how to path with Kane, got you. Check out Karis My Path, you guys. Go find. Alright. Oh. Like I said, I'm just gonna do a full clear down. We're up against a Rek'Sai, so I'm gonna be a little bit smarter about this game. Rek'Sai likes to go for three camp ganks, that's kind of her bread and butter, so be a little bit cautious and aware of that. Almost done with the full clear. Just always watch for the lands that are like pushing up a good amount. Try and ping them out accordingly. I have mastered every weapon So normally when I'm on my second to last camp, that's when I kind of like start scouting around like, okay, is this lane going to be gankable for me or not? All my lanes were in pretty ungankable positions, except for a bot lane it looks like. Yeah, I'm not going to actually... You notice how I didn't like fully jump in on him there? Because if he was to just knock me up and trade me, he'd probably get my flash. He might even be able to kill me there. But I made sure to queue at an angle to where he wouldn't be able to just immediately knock me up. Yeah, they like walk into me or even flash on me. Like that kind of great space between me and him. And yeah, that also stopped him from being able to get a free gank on my ball lane, which is very good. It looks like he did all of his top side. I just bot side. Dude, no way. I'm trolling. Uh, I trolled. I can use my futures marker right now, to be honest. I have a level lead on this guy. There's no reason I shouldn't be looking. Yeah, I'm playing in diamonds, so it's going to be Yappersville. I may be looking for a play in top right now. Okay, let's look. If Tommy could set me up here, that'd be a super perfect. No, it's not gonna be getting me the right orbs, but be vibing though. Oh my god, wait, what? Dude, this game is going so unlucky. That's a bad flash by me though, to be honest. What a defensive player over there, because yeah, you might just come after me. Rex is a pretty aggro champ. I'm 
much CS I have over this Rek'Sai though. Oh, good. Bit of an awkward early, but all good. Okay. I'm just getting my Raptors here, and then... I don't know if he took boss scuttle, because yeah, he only had CS, I don't think he did. Probably is taking it immediately, so like he went to the bot side of the map here. Probably gonna go straight to the bot scuttle and then get his other bot side. But it's not too much of a time sink for me to look for this. Oh, I didn't. I still have to be careful though. This is a very like full zone area. I'm healthy enough to survive a combo, so I'm not that worried. We can look for this though. I base is stun. Oh, he missed everything. I walk away. Oi, oi, oi. Could have been a kill, but it's all good. Right now, a not horrible idea would be looking for a dragon, because if I'm correct, this guy should be looking for grubs. Because he has full prio for that, so why would he not be looking for grubs, right? Yeah, playing for bot lane is pretty impossible right now, and then playing for mid lane is incredibly impossible right now. I'm gonna have three losing lanes. Oh, wait. Uh. Yeah, just paying to finish it. Much stronger than Rek'Sai, so I'm not really worried about that, but I'm worried about Brand coming here first. Yeah, this is what I'm worried about. Not good. I'm gonna flash away. What? Them a free kill. They might look for. Yeah, I think they're gonna rotate their bot lane into grubs. I was worried that they were gonna rotate their bot lane to my top side. That'd be very. Fun. Fortunately, they're not. Fortunately, they are just not doing that. So we got a farmer games. It might seem a little bit meaningless right now, but it'll actually accumulate to a lot later on. It's farming. Oh, we could like, kill this guy. It looks like this guy. Had ulti off before anything could happen there. Make sure that we play this as smart as we can. Look how tanky this guy is. If they killed either me or Ace, so it would be a good idea. I so Good job. I think I got my form. I'm not gonna go red form because this is a blue only challenge, so we're definitely gonna be going uh, well, blue and we're just gonna wait for a form. But yeah, it's not too bad to just gotta wait. In the early form is better than no form. See, I could go reset right now and buy Hubris, uh, but I don't need to do that because I have camps right here to farm. I could reset. I go with that and buy hubris. So sometimes it's smart to use futures market, but I mean, if there's camps here to farm, like there's no point really wasting this gold, right? Also buy it. Uh, I can control it if I want. Well, my whole rule of thumb with control it is have one of the map one inventory. So even though this control it isn't that good, I mean, hey, it worked out there, didn't it? Not a bad control word. But we could definitely look for a play in bot bottom lane. Gotta form all my camps. Yeah, you guys can see that even like in Diamond Elo, just playing like fundamentally is so like relevant for games. As you can see, I have a lot of losses during this series, but I will say that as long as you're winning more than you're losing, I mean, I think that's what people want, right? Like, I don't think people want to see like you get 100% win rate. Right? Because like for me to get 100% win rate, right, I want to be able to teach you guys a lot of like relevant and like relatable stuff because i'm trying to showcase like more so the simplicity of the game rather than like give you complex you know things 
That's why I play at high elo for it. I do like both when I stream. Play at high elo, then I play at low elo. Very like both the uh, skilled and the not so skilled. Yeah, my goal here is just to make you guys understand the fundamentals of the game. By the way, if this was Karismai, we would have got no mana, so I'm just gonna. The one. Having this in the background while studying for exams, 10 out of 10 TBH. Oh, yeah. What? He just missed it! Wow. Nah, I knew I was dead. Direct has ult on me. So I was dead no matter what. Wait, what? That guy played that so bad that he outplayed me. He missed his Q and everything. Like, I was waiting for his Q and he didn't use it. Like, oh my god, I'm rolling. Some elements. Alright, well, um. Maybe look. I think that this guy has no ghost is kind of good. I look for my Grom? Not sure. That or he's over here in this bush. Yeah, he's over there in that bush. Read that out. And then Bali's just playing super safe. So I don't think we're actually going to be able to play for Dragon Soul this game. But what we can do is we can just pull the game out extra long. Because, we, I mean, we got that initial first strike. So I think another five minutes to work with. Extra five minutes of playing the game is very nice. Right, we just give that. Look, they made top side. Look for like ganks at top. My form. And then look to 1v9. Always think about what you can do and what you can't do. Or think about what you can do as opposed to what you can do. A lot of people, they try and force things that they can't. And the more you like try to make plays, the more you'll like find comfort in like what is and isn't. Like, I could look for that play on Bran, but I want to get these invade first. And you guys are probably going to see this be my first grub take. I normally never take grubs, but I literally have nothing to do up here. Actually, you know what? Nah, I don't even think so. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Scuttle, I'm going to reset, get my form, and then try and kill bot lane. I hate grubs. They're just so useless. Just fade. What's up, Paris, my balls guy? Still at it with your old ways, aren't you? Alright, so second item into their team, I mean, Ansi. The Axiom Mark's not a bad idea. Uh, actually, I don't know. I kind of want to get a Serpent. Literally, just to get that. Um, give me. Me and, uh, Jinx. We will have to worry about that Zack later, but that's a problem for later. <laughs> I can kill their like backline, their, their entire backline. We're vibing. That's all that matters. Maybe look for uh, an invade. I'm gonna stay in the corners. That way, I'm not getting seen by any vision here. I'll try to sneak behind them. A little bit deep control right here. I doubt they saw me. Oh, they did. That was interesting. Yeah, one thing I really do love about the Hubris Rush is that you're not really locked into getting like Axiom second. You can kind of go whatever. But with Yumu's Rush, you're locked into getting Axiom second. Because otherwise, you have no players.
good, Zark, could I help here? No, I guess not. Could have killed both there if he just helped. This looks toxic. I think this is a deafen game. Folks, that we could probably win. Side lane. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm gonna look for in the mid game. It's just stall this out and play side lane. Look for this, to be honest. Even though we have no ults, we definitely have enough damage mid and gong. Gosh, that's not bad. Maybe we could look to kill them next time. Red is no flash either, so ADC and brand no flash. You'll be able to get two kills right now. Okay, 20 seconds on the dragon. The thing we really want to fight is so. Issue is trying to make a play in top, like having three losing lanes is really tough, but I might actually be able to pull this one out. Honestly, look to like just group up and kill this sack together and get top tower. But it's actually not a bad idea. We need somebody to help kill this guy, because we can't do it us two. Soul's going for the solo steal, actually. But we have three people here, but no ant deal. Um, look at how much he just healed. Didn't auto the Zack. Wow. She didn't auto the Zack. Crazy. Hmm. That's a tough one, isn't it? Let's try and split bot. Top is so heavy that you're just gonna take all my camps now. That's a brutal one. Every corpse a lesson, every threat a target. Let's get that early dragon so we can like stall extra. Splitting is not a bad idea. Gonna go do the Baron. 
stop them. That'd be good. Tower though, not bad. Getting more and more damage. I just keep getting like gold. Maybe we can win. Probably gonna get the Baron right now, aren't they? I fear so. Unfortunate. I probably kill this mid, but I also would need help. here on killing this jinx. Mid tower. I don't think resetting here is smart because we already lost in Hibben. Zach isn't gonna end the game. We might as well get mid tower. Oh, we could have killed Brand there too. Yeah, that's really a main issue with this elo is nobody really wants to listen or follow good calls. He's gotta shut down though, so maybe we can win. Yeah, see, if we just pushed together, we could have killed Brand, we could have got tower, and then if Zach came after us after, we just killed him too. Tom is TPing to the dragon. I don't know why. We don't have enough time to actually like the dragon. Well, I don't really care to undefin to figure out why. To be honest with you. Tower, wait for Zach to reset, and then we just go force on him. You get as much damage as I can, here. I need to be able to like kill everybody. Yeah, play another Dirk angle. It's tight. Not a bad idea. Chase this on, see, it's not a bad idea. My will have no Flashing for that 900 gold. The thing is, is that. For that. Or so. Maybe hey, actually live. That's crazy. 
got a Jedi now, so I can just one-shot the brand whenever. That's really good. You see a scaling here as well. Uh, no. You have no damage? And you have no anti ult? Camps at the same time here. I'm gonna make sure I'm getting all my camps. That Genite's not too bad. Can't really get tier two boots because I need as much damage as I can just to like keep killing them. Swords too. Swords are very important to play or to get from behind as well. Game is quite a toughie. So uh, Zach, yeah. Only ones I'm gonna look for is like brand and um things. Oh my itemization is actually perfect this game by the way. Got the serpents for Zack and Jinx. The yeah, only two targets I need to kill. Well you and me too, but it's kind of, if I kill her I just get lucky, I guess. Either she misplays or I get very lucky. Looking for angles. Honestly, get this. I don't want to, but we'll see when they're going to start it. low right now. Let's loop around here. It's a vision. I'm gonna wait out for this uh here. Direct side here. Yes. Cover Zach. We go dragon right after, we have to go dragon right after. Oh my god, he almost got it stolen from us. Why would he do that? Why would he do that? What? Why would he ever do that? Crazy guy. Let's get the dragon. Dragon Soul, huge. Oh, yeah, yeah. This game's intense. Probably go Jay last item. Shove out top and then I'll look to group. Always good to shove out sideways. How much splitting like helps you like come back and win these games? But... Okay, we see him. Okay. He's gonna keep going, honestly. Like, there's no one here to stop me, then they're eventually gonna have to like, you know, come up with a plan or something. Now we just dive this guy. I mean, doesn't. On yours, right? True believers live forever. Nice. And the good news 
is that we sold so much time that our like our damage actually does damage now. So I'm not like the only threat on the team. My FPS is crapping itself this game. FPS. Why is my FPS so crappy? There you go. They had something. I think I had a stream open in the background. The exhaust out. Oh, nice. They actually killed. Oh, damn, that was so close hitting. Is that the jinx and let my team get all the damage off? Oh, wait. I accidentally brought the. Uh... Dude, I accidentally walked up Randall into my entire team there. No, I did not. No, I did not do that. What? I did not just do that. What's wrong with me? Oh, my God. Yes. Oh. Listen, if you're not already, make sure you freaking drop a like and a sub, boys, because this game is the comeback game. I want you to rewatch this. Every time you feel like you're playing a game that's unwinnable, rewatch this, because this game, I have no idea how we're winning. I mean, I know how. Very, very precise farming. You know, like all game, I just farm, farm, farm. Look, I have 300 CS. Farm, farm, farm. Get items. Big. Make picks. Put away. Survive. Steal. Like, just everything, like, dude. And then the itemization. I mentioned this earlier, my itemization is perfect this game because my Serpent is literally the only thing that will make me kill Jinx when I'm this far behind. And it's the only thing that will make me kill Brand when I'm this far behind. They have, um, me gives a shield and then you also have Brand who's getting Seraph's shield. So, it actually is like an insanely, like, cracked build this one, I'm not gonna lie to you. Wait, look, see, they're, they're gonna kill, uh, Hazel, so I'm just gonna go kill this guy. No! No! Oh my god. I actually died. Damn it. This is my flash, too. By the way, this good. is Smite, who would unironically win this oh, game. Oh, real time catch. Thanks, uh... The comeback uh, game. Oh, god. Make sure you're dropping a freaking like and a sub, YouTube. This game was a banger. Ah, uh, yes, it was a banger. I cannot get too ahead of myself. I don't think it's over just yet. There's a dragon soul. By my elixir wrath right now. It doesn't actually activate until you uh, respawn, by the way. But he was curious. Goodbye, whatever. Well, the game's not over. Well, don't start it. Do not start it. Do not start it. Very good. Very good. You see how playing selfish is actually the most helpful thing you can do as a game? Because you just soak up so much time and pressure. Like, my team was able to just get so much CS and do so much while I was vibing. I was hanging out. You guys exhaust. You know? Frick off. Play it slow. A little cat. My little cat. GG easy? Yeah, easy for you to say. What do you. 80 carried players, man. Jesus. Hey.
we have blue buffs, so I can actually stay at the map here. Get Baron as well, we're at it. Let's make sure that we get a nice clean victory line. Does Baron have Archangels? No, he has Archangels and Zonya. Double defensive, double whammy. Very nice. Yeah, let's get this. Kind of risky because we should look for a pick first. I mean, that's how you kind of play this situation, but I think at the same time we could just rush it. The enemy team seems very demoralized. A lot of the times you could play like a lot more aggressive than the enemy team. Poor, poor Aesol. <laughs> GA for the win! And that's why GA is so good. GG's. Make sure that if you guys ever have a tough game, you rewatch this one. Drop a like and a sub, YouTube. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>